Today we'll be showing you some easy ways to compress videos on your iPhone. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. With the release of every new iPhone, Apple has continued to emphasize the strength of its camera app. Everything from the sensor to megapixels to new features gets at least some stage time at every Apple event announcing new iPhones. As these features are released and cameras improve, so does the resulting photo and video sizes. When you capture more and more content, you're taking up more space on your iPhone. If you're not careful, you can run out of space. While you can easily transfer videos off the iPhone, another easy fix is to reduce video size through compression. Here's how to compress your videos on your iPhone. One thing should be clear from the start, any steps to compress video size on the iPhone will be done through third-party applications. There's no default method from Apple to do this. The only thing you can do on your iPhone is reduce the original video size. Go to settings, camera on your iPhone and find the option for record video. Tap on it and find six different possible options for recording video. You will see fewer options on a non 4K iPhone. At the bottom of the screen, Apple included a note about how much storage space a video will take up with each setting. If you want to compress your video, choose one of the bottom two options. One of the most popular solutions to compress videos directly on your iPhone is using an app called Video Compress. Available for free, this app has two paid options to remove ads and compress an unlimited number of videos. Beyond its cost, the app is one of the easiest solutions to save space on your iPhone. Once you have it installed, open the Video Compress app and tap on the giant plus button. After hitting the plus button, the app will ask for permission to access your photos. Go ahead and say OK. The app will then show you the list of all available videos. Choose the video you want to compress by tapping on it. You can select just one video or tap on multiple videos to compress them at the same time. You must now select the level of compression you want for each video. There are multiple presets available, enabling you to choose everything from Full HD, which is 28.6 megabytes per minute, to 360p video quality, which is just 3.6 megabytes per minute. You can also adjust the bitrate with a higher bitrate, equaling better quality and more space. When you've made your selection, you can either preview the video at the reduced size or hit continue to move on. Your next option is to select a destination album. If none of the above options worked, look at the bottom and tap on add new album and move forward. When the destination is selected, you can proceed with compression. Depending on the number of videos, the actual compress process should be relatively brief and done within 30 seconds or so. Finally, you now have the choice of keeping the original video or deleting it and keeping only the newly resized video. Tap on finish if you want to lose the original and complete the entire process. Looking at the resized video in the photo app shouldn't show much of a change. Most people don't know the difference between 4K, 1080 or 1080p and 720p. You're now free to share the video to your social channels, friends and family or just enjoy a freed up space on your iPhone. If you don't have problems with the internet connection or data cap, you could use one of the online video compression services. As with the video compression apps, there are many available. For example, Video Smaller allows you to reduce video size either by uploading to their server or by pointing it to the video URL, as long as the size doesn't exceed 500 megabytes. The service also allows you to resize the video and supports a wide range of video file formats. Now, if the methods we talked about don't work for you to compress videos on your iPhone, there are dozens of other video compression apps on the App Store waiting in the wing. All of them achieve the same goal and with mostly the same set of options. There are a finite number of ways to shrink a video, specifically as it relates to what outputs you choose, like 1080p, 720p, or 480p resolution. Outside of the App Store, you can always move videos over to your Mac or your Windows machine and use third-party applications like Handbrake, to shrink the videos. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.